Hi guys, welcome back to Real Talk. My name is Sydney and today joining me, I have Mr. Sasha Carlson. You may know him from Julian the Phantoms. He plays Nick, which in my opinion is a very underrated character. I really, really, really like Nick, but it's just me. Um, I hope there's other people that also agree with me on that. Um, but I'm just super stoked to have him on the, the podcast today. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. So first off, I just wanted to, I guess I'll start with that because that's where people probably know you from is Julian the Phantoms. Yeah. So first off, like, congratulations on the success of that, like that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. It is insane. Like I, like my life literally, my life literally changed, um, because of it, but you know, in the, in the, in the mm-hmm. best ways possible, like, and I'm, and I'm really happy. Um, yeah, that whole experience of, of just filming, um, that was my first time being on, um, uh, on the set of like a, of, of a TV show for an extended period of time. Like in the past, I've done little, you know, snippets like, here and like there, guests. you know what I mean? But like this being a like, guest. Yeah. Totally. And so yeah. this was my first time, like actually being on a, a television set and seeing how things worked and just taking it all in. And on top of that, I work with the best people ever. Yeah. I mean, are so cool. Like we have the best cast. We're all so close. Um, so it was just, it was so much fun. And literally like two of the best months of my life that I've ever had. Um, it was I can incredible. imagine. Yeah, I can it imagine. Was, I've it, seen all this behind the scenes footage. And I'm like, oh, they look like they have so much fun. Like, and that's their job. <laughs> like, I know, right? I'm like, what? I'm like, what's going on here? Like, I, I yeah. don't know. Goodness, it's it's amazing. And like, you know, on top of that, we were in we were in Vancouver filming, and that was like Vancouver was I've never been. So it was so cool because I was experiencing this new thing with my career, and then also outside, I was exploring this new place I'd never been and I fell in love with and I have such a deep love mm. for, for up there and um That's oh my so gosh cool. it just it makes me just like so happy when I think you just it. you can tell you're just you're just like oh, let me just, oh let me my just gosh I don't even stuff. like it's so so cool I don't I don't even know how to do it's it's kind of it's like beyond words as cheesy as that sounds it's it's like it's That's so good I feel cool. like sometimes people do something in their job like even if it's not acting it's just anything and they're like ugh I hate yeah. my life. And so I'm, it's really cool to see someone just be like, I love everything about it. Like, I, oh. I'm the complete, like, I literally, um, like I'd get bummed when it was the weekend. Seriously. Oh. I oh, love being on set just that much, you oh. know what I mean? And like, um, at the time I was 16, so I could only be on set for like, mm-hmm. I think it was like 10 and a half hours. Um, like a day, like, yeah, like a day. That's still a long time. It's a long time. But you also like you have three hours of schoolwork, you know, you have like filming that you're doing. Uh, mm-hmm. And so it would just go way too quick. Um, you know, lunch is in there, too, which is about like an hour or so. Um, and oh, my gosh, like wow. I would be so bummed at the end of the day. I'd be like, I don't want to. I'd be like, can we just please like break the law a little bit? But we yeah, can't. so, so you're getting well, you're 17 now. I'm 17 now. Yeah. Okay. So you're getting, does it change? So I've wondered this, does it change every year that you get older? Do you get more time until you're 18 or is it just as a minor, you only get 10 and a half hours? Uh, you know, I, I think as you get older, you get a little, progressively a little bit more. Um, mm-hmm. But when, then when you're 18, you can be on set um, for as long as, um, for as long as they need you, which that's I'm really, cool. excited for. I'm like, that's, that's exciting. You're like right there. Yeah. You're I'm so going to be close. there like, I'm going to be there like all day, every day. (laughs) You're like, I'm never leaving. I sleep here just in case something happens, like massive FOMO. Exactly. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I feel you. I have massive FOMO. So like if I'm anywhere, I'm like, I have to leave at the very end. Like I have to make sure everyone else leaves at the same time as me, like the last people. I'm not going to miss anything. Exactly. Um, Because you know something's going to happen. Totally. And then they're all going to be talking about it or joking about it later. And you're like, <sighs> I was like, I wasn't there. Like filming in yeah. what happened. I don't know. It, it happened five like, minutes after you left, like literally every time. Right. Oh my gosh. Or like, I, you know, it was funny. It's funny you say that. I remember being on, uh, like watching the Hollywood ghost club scene mm. being filmed. That's fine. Cheyenne, like Cheyenne, Cheyenne Jackson. Right. And he, and Cheyenne, by the way, yeah. is absolutely incredible. Like he, Oh, I can imagine. 
He's insane. So I was watching, and then they're like, "Well, oh, Sasha, you have to go." And I was like, "No!" Like I, You're like I'm not even working. Like I'm literally sitting here. Like, sh- right? Yeah. Don't tell anybody. But, uh, oh my gosh. Because you're on was- set, technically. Right. Oh, my oh gosh, that would have been such a cool scene to like film. Wow. It was incredible. Oh my goodness. And watch even like. Gosh, yeah. watch being filmed like live. Like it's a really oh, cool yeah. scene to watch in the show, but like watching it live, I'm sure it was just like oh my gosh, it was incredible. Whoa. I was just can I just go over this day just so I can watch? Like I'm not even in the scene. I just want to see, I just want to see this go down and see, you know, Kenny work his work his magic on on this this musical number. It, it was incredible. I I, I, I could go, you. I could go on and on. Stop me. No, I love it. I love it. I'm like, oh yeah, talk about it. That's that's cool. I actually had like thought about that. Like you went right into like the things that I was gonna even ask about, just um like you talking about how the cast is great and you all are great friends. And from everything, I mean, like even just everything I've seen, like behind the scenes stuff, you all look like you're just so close and you have so much fun together, like I said earlier. Um, do you have like a favorite memory? with all of them either on set or off set or I'm sure you guys hung out on the weekends like, oh yeah oh yeah I mean we, um you're like we can't be on set we may as well do something together oh my anyway. gosh. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> because on the weekends like you know no one's no one's filming so or like you know they occasionally you know if they went over they would have to fill so- something in but usually you know we'd have like two days off or I would so mm-hmm. um, oh my gosh I I have so many memories like <laughs> Let me know. That's it. good. That's such a good thing. Oh, it's so hard to pinpoint one. Um, I'd say, you know what, on set though, one of my most memorable um, experiences was watching Bright um, mm. being filmed there in the gym. Um, and Madison gets up on stage and she starts, you know, or I guess Julie, I should say. <laughs> and it's so funny. No, you're I, good. I mean, I we know. <laughs> like all, like I was talking to Charlie the other day. Um, I went down to LA and I stayed with him. And I was just like, hey, Luke, where's the, and I was like, oh, wait, no, that's <laughs> Charlie. You're like, wait a second, wait a second. Way too many fan pages. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not, it's, yeah. it's Charlie. <laughs> I'm not in the show. Uh, I'm not in the show right now. Uh, yeah, I, so so watching Bright being filmed was incredible. I was watching it with mm-hmm. Santa and Jada. And um, that was the first musical scene that uh, Madison and the guys, they filmed. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there was a lot of onset. There was like a lot of, um, it was just a big deal because, you know, we have, I, I don't, I, I don't even know how many musical numbers there's about one, one or two per in each episode. So, and there that's, you know, it's a, it's a big making them work is, uh, it's really a team effort. And it's also could be very stressful for the, you know, the, the crew and stuff. I can imagine that's yeah. a lot of, yeah. A lot of it's angles, a lot, lot of takes, I'm sure. Like, a lot of yeah a lot of angles just a lot of people involved and so um you know when there's a lot of people involved it can be it can really stretch out it's just it there's a lot going on um but everything went so smooth and watching it was like the first moment I, for me it was just like wow this is really happening right now i'm watching julie and the phantoms play their song and on stage yeah. and uh we were all just like, oh my gosh, we're, we're doing this. You know what I mean? So it was, it was a very special moment for everyone. Just the energy in the room was, Aww. was just so, um, it was just, it was just a very, it was very emotional. Oh my goodness. And, uh, I was losing my mind. I was like, you can ask Jada or Savannah or anyone. I was like, I was just so stoked and I was jumping around the Aww. back and we were, oh my gosh, it was such a special moment. And um, you're also a fan of Julian, the Phantoms. Sasha's oh. a fan of Julian, the Phantoms <laughs> as well. Oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> I, I, I love it so much. That whole day too. It was October uh-huh. 26th, 2019. I remember the date. So you're um, like, this was like your moment. You were like, sur- this was surreal. Like I'm here, I'm doing this. This is crazy. So surreal. Oh my wow. God. I, I always look back at that scene being filmed and watching it and being like oh my goodness we're this is happening it's pretty it's pretty incredible yeah dang I just get goosebumps thinking about it wow I love that is it uh so you said it was the first musical number that they filmed like is Julian the Phantoms was that like pretty early on in filming in general too so yeah hitting everybody like oh my gosh we're doing this yeah so that was like that was about um that was, yeah, that was early on. I think that was like around three weeks in. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure what episode that is. I think it's like it's pretty early. It's like it's pretty early in the first early. couple. Yeah, I think. And so, yeah. So how they filmed it was like, we would, um, we would go by episodes. So we'd start with one, then two, three, four, five, you know what I mean? Slowly wake our, oh. make our way. So it was, it was very early on in the filming, uh, process and, uh, everyone was just, yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Oh. How it was so cool. I love it. I, I can just, the way you're talking about it and smiling, I just, I love that. I love that you like love it so much. It makes me happy. I'm like, you guys all love it as much as all of us who watch it, love it. Um, oh man. So gosh, I'm just, yeah, I'm thinking about it. All right. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Like I tried, I was trying to explain to somebody cause I was like, yeah, I'm doing this podcast tomorrow. And it's one of the actors from Julie and the Phantoms and I was going on about like what it's about because she was like, oh, they're dead. And I'm like, dude, it's so good. You just need to watch it. Just go watch it. Like, like, yes, it's a children's show, but like, no, it's, it's of, not. Like, it's don't just go describe. watch it. Yeah, it's 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 funny. It's like, uh, you know, and I really realized that when I when I watched it too for the first. Uh, well, actually, I've only I actually only watched I've only I watched it once, and that was right when it came out. Um, but it's gotta before, be weird, like watching yourself. Oh, it's so weird. I'm like. I'm like, no, especially like a year later, because I feel like I've grown up a lot in the past year. So I'm like, who's that baby on screen? <laughs> Who is this guy? Like, what? Like, what is going on? But then you're like, also not yourself. You're someone else, which is also I'm sure that adds a layer because it's already weird to watch yourself on camera. But then watching you play something. No, uh -uh, I can't. It, it's it's bizarre. Like, I can't is, imagine. That'd be weird. But see, like I was um, I hadn't seen any of the show prior to it being released. Um, oh. so I was, I didn't know, I mean, like, uh, Madison and the guys and, um, you know, obviously Kenny and, and Dan and Dave, the, the, the producers and, um, writers, they had seen it mm -hmm. a lot because, you know, they're the ones who are making. Right. Know. They're like, Oh, I've seen this a hundred times. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I hadn't seen anything, so I didn't really know what to spec expect. And, um, it's really getting back to like what you said about, um, you know, it, it really takes. Uh, pieces from so many different genres and so many different um yeah it's very hard to put in a box and I think that's one of the coolest things about the show is like um there are like my mom was crying watching Unset Emily you know which is something that I think hits the older audience who have people who have kids are like oh my gosh like yeah I can totally um I really feel for this kid and these parents. I don't know what I would do if I was in that situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, but yeah. then also it's like, everyone loves to dance. You know, everyone, everyone loves music. So when you listen yeah. to I Got the Music, you're just, you know, everyone's having a good yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. I, but then kids can also uh, understand and, 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 um, and feel for the story. I, I, I just think there's, there's a lot of different uh, elements that kind of mm -hmm. are, mashed together with with Julie and the Phantoms which is pretty it's pretty cool it can appeal to all ages you know I think it's yeah. kind of special when you have a show that um like I I don't have kids I was talking to somebody that did and she was like saying that like there's a couple shows or whatever that like she can watch with her kids and genuinely enjoy sure. and I was like that's special when like you can have a little kid and they enjoy the show because it's cute and it's light and it's fun but then there's like that depth to it too, that I think Julian the Phantoms has, and you can either notice it or you can just watch it just as is. And yeah. so like, I think adults and parents can enjoy it. Like I, my sister and I made my mom watch it um, and she like got really invested in it. Like she was like, oh, this is cute. And then like Caleb comes in and she's like, well, this was great until that guy came in. Right. And then like, <laughs> she just, and then unsaid Emily, she's like crying and like, I'm uh -huh. like, okay, like, see, this does really appeal to all, all ages. Uh, but I think people are like, oh, it's a children's show. Like, I don't, I'm like, no, just really just watch it. And you'll like, you'll change your life. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's very special. It's very deep. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. There's just an all ages appeal. Like it's it's special because it has so many different layers to it. Um, so with with Nick, um, if you guys get picked up for a season two, I literally I'm just anyway, I'm so over everybody just being like, hey, that's definitely I'm like, look, just you can't control. That. I mean, like you kind of do, but you kind of don't like 
just chill maybe for a minute and like it, it might happen but anyway yeah. that's just my thing I'm like every every time I'm on Instagram I'm like they're like me waiting for a season I'm like okay <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah let's just focus on what what's already there because it's so good but now I'm gonna go there for a second so so if you guys picked up for us get picked up for a season two um what personally would you want to see Nick do in season two like do you have any hopes and dreams for him that you're like I might I might pitch this idea like you know whatever Dan and Dave are our writers you're like any you know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Uh, they, and they're also, so those guys are absolute geniuses. You know, for me personally, I'm, I'm Clearly. just excited to see, I'm just excited to see, uh, there's nothing in like specific, but there's, I'm excited to see what problems, um, he causes for the band. You know what I mean? And it, cause, cause you know, because Caleb, of the whole Caleb element, totally because Kate, you know, so Caleb Cole is like, he wants to, he wants to rip these guys apart. Um, and, you know, you see that in uh, the Hollywood ghost club where he, he tries to, so they can't play music and um, in, in season one. And so I'm excited to see, um, I'm excited to see how possessed Nick, um, what he's going to do. Cause I genuinely don't know. Like I have no clue where the story's going to go. Like, seriously, it's funny. People are, people have been like, so Sasha, what's going to happen? You know? No, I don't figure yeah, it out. Really I'm like, what do you want? Like, do you have anything you want? Cause I don't think you guys know. Like, we don't. yeah, we don't. I like, uh, no, <clears throat> I, I don't know. I, Even I'm, if you did, you probably can't say so. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I'm just excited to be, be evil for a little bit. I think that's going to be fun and it's yeah. very, it's going to be interesting for Nick, you know? Um, and I'm going to see, you know, how that, I guess, affects Nick. Um, I'm just excited to see his kind of his arc, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure where it's going to go, but uh, it's going to be really, really fun being able to play something, a character that dynamic, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's almost like he's going to have this internal fight because I'm assuming he'll be like, here's sweet, lovable Nick. And then he's got this Caleb thing. And I'm sure this is going to just wreak so much havoc. And then he's going to be over here like, wait, whoa, whoa, did I do that? No, 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 I can't do that. Oh, my right. gosh. Like, it's going to be so sad. Like, I'm going to be so sad for him and be like, no, no, oh, yeah. no, it's not you. It's not you. <laughs> it makes like it, you know, it makes like it kind of, for, for Nick, it, it makes kind of perfect sense that Caleb, you know, chose him because he is like the last person that people would expect to yeah he's you know, just so chill and like sweet host. yeah supportive he's, like, he's just like he's the nice guy you know what i yeah. mean he, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to hurt and hurt anyone so um <laughs> i'm just I, it's gonna be it's gonna be funny seeing uh i don't know i i you know we'll see what happens we'll see what happens yeah <laughs> it's kind of a massive cliffhanger there that I think everybody's just kind of like, okay, we need answers. <laughs> we, this is why we want a season two. We need answers. We really it, do. It's a big question mark. It's a big, I question. know. It's like, what? Yeah. What? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure playing a, a character that's evil per se will be a lot, a lot more fun. Well, I don't know. Like I always thought those would be really fun oh to play compared to being nice. Like being nice is great because you're lovable. And everybody likes you, but like being like evil, you have so many layers and like you have to have more, you have to have more fun with it. For sure. And especially oh, like, Caleb, like, especially Caleb too, because um, he's very, you know, showy and very, uh, he's very big. He's so and, and, um, and a part of me is in that because, you know, I, I, it's like, you know, that's, that's, that's kind of like my a part of uh, my personality too, is like mm -hmm. I love being on stage and, and, you know, dressing up and, and wearing jewelry and you know being this it, there's this like sort of it's kind of it's kind of like it's a little bit rock and roll you know what I mean yeah where, yeah, yeah yeah and so I yeah he's I he's really, he's honestly cool like he is controversial oh God, to say so but like he's he's really cool he's really cool and see that's the thing too is like Ugh. a part of you like the, the the more like the the dark side of everyone I feel like it's kind of like yeah like let's go Caleb like, <laughs> like look at this guy <laughs> you know what I mean at least that was me first I was just like dang like obviously you know I want Julie and the guys to win but Caleb's cool you know he he's, really is he's got he's got style I mean he's he's smooth 
you know what I mean? So um, I think there's so many layers to that too. Like when I watched it, I was like, see, he seems cool. So there's like that layer of like, yes, he's evil, but he masks it so well. And like, you see the boys completely fall for it. Yeah. And um, granted they're a little ditzy sometimes, but like, <laughs> I think we'd all fall for it at some point. Um, and I was, I was like, cause how often, are the people that you least expect the ones that are trying to hurt you, like not to be like a downer because, you know, yes, definitely believe the best about people. But like, I just was like, Oh, see, sometimes the evil, like the evil person in the the film, like the villain is not, does not seem to be the villain at all. And then to have Nick, Oh my gosh, it's going to be a whole nother layer of like, first off he's showy and he's already kind of like persuasive. And now you have him masked in this really nice kid like no one's going to know at all, right. which is terrifying <laughs> for all of them. I'm like, oh no, y'all are going to die. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, like, he, like Caleb's also, he's so charming, you know, That's, like, he's, yep. so, he's so charming and so persuasive. That was a very good word to describe yeah, yeah. his, his attitude. So um, I think the combo of, of, of that. And then Nick, the masked, you know, him, him masked as, as, as Nick's going to be. They're never going to expect it. It's going to be hard. It's, it's, they're never going to expect it. So yeah. Uh, gonna cool. Catch some people off guard. I'm excited. I know I'm over here. Like <laughs> just like ah. these poor people that don't yeah. know, like, yeah. like even the scene where like at the very end where Julie opens the door, I'm like, no, Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> like she has yeah, no, no idea. <laughs> and like, she totally doesn't process the way he, he, you know, like lifts his head at her. I'm like, Holy crap. She's like, so, Oh no, she's not going to expect it. Huh? Yeah. And, it, and he shows up with, I'm flowers. like, how do you not see it? <laughs> he shows I know. Up with She's like, Oh, dude. Nick. <laughs> it's so sweet. Yeah. And just, Oh my gosh. Well, cause he literally was just being sweet. And then this whole thing happened. And then I'm like, no, no, it's not Nick. Not really fully Nick. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, that's so cool. Um, man, that'll be really interesting to see. I'm like, um, so I want to switch gears a tiny bit. Um, because um, I would love to talk a little bit about, so I listened to your music, which I thought was amazing. Thank you so um, much. So, um, and I was like, oh my gosh, people need to listen to this album. Um, what, uh, I, I felt like there were some influences that were very like, there's some like 90s rock influence in there. But then also I know that you are very influenced by like, especially like the outfits and stuff, which by the way, we love, love the, the fashion choices, like our very like kind of seventies, eighties inspired, like the flare yeah. pants and like, I wear bell bottoms. So I'm here for it. I'm like, we love, um, so, um, what was it that like inspired you? Like, who are your musical inspirations? Do you feel? And like, when did you create this album? Did you write it yourself or like, what was that process like? Yeah. So, so I, well, this, it's really funny. I look back on, cause that, that probably, I, I released that in, uh, I think it was like August of 2019, mm-hmm. which seems for me like eons ago because I, um, I just, I feel like I was a little baby back then. Like it, it's, it's really funny, but the, all those songs I, I wrote and stuff. Oh, um, wow. That's and, amazing. Thank you. They were, so, they were my first songs that I've, I ever, um, I wrote, like, I think, um, yeah, it, it, it was, it was, um, I think forever, forever young fever was like one. I think it was like my third song that I I had I had, I had ever written. So I um it was very for me wow. looking back on it. Well, for me looking back at it, I'm just like there's certain things where I'm just like Sasha, what like what <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's but that's also me. that's I'm part so of happy. your journey. I'm, yeah, I'm so happy I did that though that project because it was a very accurate sort of um stamp and, 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 and representation of where I was at at that time. And, uh, and just like what, you know, things that I was going through or like, you know, and so it's, 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 I, I'm still, I'm really happy I did that just because like, I'm, uh, yeah, I was, I was, I was 15. I just turned 15 when I, when I recorded the first, yeah. uh, um, song. So it was, uh, it was fun, but yeah, it's very, I'm very much influenced, um, by 90s and 70s and you know back then too like I hadn't really come into I hadn't really um uh become as as obsessed as I am now like I am I am I mean I am so obsessed like back then like I I think I I think I had maybe got I think I got my first pair of bell bottoms when I was 15 
Um, and so uh, there's definitely been this evolution where I can see the deeper and deeper and deeper <laughs> dive into this, like, oh, wow, <laughs> this rabbit hole. But, you know, I, you know, I, I it's a I good love, rabbit hole to fall down. I'll oh just say God. that. Oh, my gosh. It's very, I love, I love it so much. But, you know, that project was so cool. It was like, um, for me, it's just like such a big learning experience. That was my first time being in a recording studio before. Um, you know, I, uh, you know, no, no, it wasn't produced at all. It was, it was like, it was just a very raw, um, I had my, like my guitar teacher played bass. I, you know, I did all the guitar. I had another buddy who played oh. drum and like, we just kind of threw it together. And, um, it, so was, cool. it was very, just like an honest, um, and raw kind of representation of it. And, you know, we'd just be sitting in the, like the, the mixing room after we record listening to it back and I'd get like my guitar teacher would be like, you think it sounds good? And he'd be like, I'm, yeah, man, sure. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, let's, you know, <laughs> that's that. Yeah. So it, it's pretty cool. Yep. Uh, that's really cool. But thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah. it. I'm excited, you know, hopefully in the next, uh, hopefully in the next, like, oh man, see, I hate like, hopefully in the next couple of years, mm -hmm. uh, which is a long, you know, that's a long time. I'd love to put, I'd love to put some more music out and, um, mm -hmm. And yeah, like uh, one of my goals is to throw a band together and um, I don't live in LA uh, right now. So my, you know, my, my goal is to live, move to LA in, a, in about a year and a half, um, year and a half, two years. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, once you're down there, it's a little bit easier to like coordinate with. Yeah. I have, I have a lot of musician uh, friends down there and uh, who, who like to play who are my age. So hopefully I'll be able to throw something, throw something together and put some more That's music. That's fun. Yeah. I was going to ask that because first first you were so young that is extremely impressive like <laughs> I was figuring this was a while back because the the album was released a few years ago so I was like he had to have recorded this when he was super young which yeah. I was like if he literally wrote and played guitar in this I'm like ridiculously blown away <laughs> like that's a lot like that's really Great. cool and yeah there's definitely a lot of talent there um so much. and then uh yeah I was kind of curious like if you create music like, cause there is that arc of like, when, oh when you're, you do any level of art, like you can see yourself grow. Um, and you're like, what was I doing? Oh my like, gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then you, time. yeah. Just, uh, like even like I personally, like, like I've been taking voice lessons and I'll look back at myself singing two or three years ago and I'm like, oh my gosh, you like, have just to, breathe. <laughs> you have to embrace, yeah, exactly. No, but you have to embrace those things because it's like, and like, you know, I, uh, because it, it's, you know, I, I really embrace what, I, you know, what it, what it was at that time. And of course, like, I'm really stoked. Like, I feel like I've grown a lot, a lot as a, as a player and as like, as, as a singer as well. And like, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I embrace that little kid, you know, who, who, who I, I, you did that, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about That's it. That's brave to do that too. Like I wrote these songs, I'm just going to put them out there. Like whatever that looks I was like. Just like. I was just like, screw That's it. Massive. I want to do this. I just yeah. want to say I did and I just want to go for it because I'm a, I'm 15 and let's just see what happens. You know what I, I mean? So, I love it. I think it's great. I think so many people, especially when you're a teenager, you're like, no, I don't want to be like judged for that. Like I'll just uh, keep it under wraps. Like, so I think yeah. that's massive to be like, I'm just going to put out this album. Like just, there you go. Let's you just know? do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, it's, it, you know, it's easy to, to kind of um, go, you know, go back into that you know, sort of shell that, you know, we, everyone has of being like, yeah, you know, what if, you know, what if this or what if that, what if, what if people think about um, this, but, you know, so there's some things that I feel like you just got to do and you just got to, you just got to throw it out there. And to anyone who, you know, doesn't like it, then that's fine. You know what I mean? But uh, right, you can't please everybody. Like not at all. You oh never God. can please everybody. So why try? You For know? Sure. Totally. So like, I, um, yeah, I just went for it. It was good. It was fun. I'm still I love that. What would you want your music to sound like? Like when you create another, do you have an idea of kind of what you, your sound, you want your sound to be? Yeah. Um, so I, well, you know, I love rock and roll. Mm -hmm. I totally love rock and roll. Um, and that's kind of where my heart is. But at the same time, I never want to um, limit myself to one. Uh, I never want to be boxed into anything. Uh, so I'm, you know, I have, I have, I've, I, you know, I, I write songs and stuff a lot and, um, and it really just depends on where I'm at. Like 
in, in, in where my inspiration is coming from. Uh, some things are really fast and upbeat if I'm excited. Some things are a lot slower and mellower and a lot more pretty, you know what I mean? I have that yeah. like, and I think that's important too. Like, you know, Foo Fighters is are they're one of my favorite bands of all time. Mm-hmm. And I think one of the reasons why I love them so much is because they have all those songs that are just like, yeah, you know what I mean? But they also have yeah. beautiful tunes that are, that are pretty. And I think that that's really uh, an important dynamic to have. So I have kind of a mix of stuff, um, but it all comes back to rock and roll. Um, some things are more seventies rock. Um, some things are even more, a little bit more hair eighties rock. They have that. Oh. And some of them are, are blues. Some of them are very nineties. Nineties I've realized is a, a place where I kind of live, um, in terms of music, like, you know, yeah. I'm a huge fan, huge Nirvana fan, Pearl Jam. I love them. Smashing Pumpkins. You know, I, I really love, um, that decade of music. I think it was a very special time. Um, you know, so I kind of pick, uh, from different decades and, and, uh, I'm not trying to, but it just, is, it's kind of what happens. You're drawing your inspiration from all over. Totally. When you said like, you don't want to box yourself in the first thought I had was like, even like listening to a Harry Styles album, like where I feel like no song sounds the same. And I'm just like, totally. finally, like someone who's like, has like mainstream music, but like, it's not mainstream music. Like he's that like, guy, I, Harry Styles is awesome. That guy's breaking so many barriers and it's yeah, so cool. Like which I, needs to happen. I love that. Oh my gosh, it has to happen. And that's so cool for artists too, because it's like, you know, he is a very successful, um, yeah. I think he, you know, even, and, and even more so now, I mean, obviously he had one direction, but now that he's, you know, become his own thing, it's like, it's really inspiring because he's kind of just, I think he, 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 he very much represents what an artist is and should be. Oh yeah. Know? Um, because if you look at like, a. I don't know if you look at like a painting, not every painting is going to be the same. So, right. Well, I think we forget that like music is, here we go. Here's my soapbox. We like, we, <laughs> we yeah. look at like music, we forget it's an art and with For art, sure. like art is supposed to be super subjective and like original. And I think we've gotten away from that in music so much, like where you're in this genre, you need to sound like this, right. especially with like just mainstream pop, like every song sounds the same. And yeah. I'm like, there's no creativity. And then, and then people who are into music, like kind of like don't let, and they want to like maybe pursue music. They kind of just, some of them stop themselves because they're like, I don't sound like Ariana Grande or I don't sound like Harry Styles because like, there's like almost like not completely, but there's like a cookie cutter voice and a cookie sure. cutter sound. And, and sure, yeah. it's like, no, like if you like, like music, you. like yeah, it's yeah. you and like, it should be about what each person wants it. Anyway, that's my thing where I'm like, it's no, art. Like, don't forget I, art is it, individual. And I think it's also one thing that really bugs me is like um, when, when artists are compared because mm-hmm. it's like everyone is different. And it's, yeah. and it, I think that people kind of forget about that too. Um, whereas like, this is, this is art. We're not here to see who's better because how can you compare something things that are completely different you know yeah. what I mean? obviously like people have their favorites you know what i mean and people gravitate towards certain things but, yeah you know yeah 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 different things resonate favorite, for sure yeah one guy's favorite though, might be like the other guy's least favorite i don't know art that's the beautiful thing about art though i think is it's like it's very um uh it's not how should, i don't i don't know i don't know what the word i'm looking for it's, the, well, I, I don't know if this is what you're trying to say, but the what I love about art is that it's almost like subjective, like where, like, it's going to be, it's going to draw a certain audience because a certain audience is going to resonate with it. And then and what I love too about like any form of art is you have two people who listen to a song or see a painting and they completely see it differently based on their yes worldview and their history and their past, like all that, like, and that's what I love about it is like you need and like if everybody here we go if everybody's like one specific thing then there's not going to be like you know, there's only going to be a certain amount of people in the world that really connect with it versus if there's all these different types different people will find something that they anyway yeah no exactly no, no, that's exactly. that's one of my things or I'm like it's about being creative so like and I have to stop myself too because like I'll be like my voice doesn't sound like this lady and I hate that and I'm like, no, 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 no. Like you have your unique voice and that's how it's supposed to be. And like, you accept yourself. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's, well, that's literally me too. Like with, especially with singing mm-hmm. too. Like I, um, 
for me, it's like, this is actually really funny. So like, I, I, I've been in, especially like in the last year, like I've been really trying to train, you know, my voice doing, um, you know, I have, I have a vocal coach. I do exercises like every day, sort of yeah. that, that whole deal. And man, it is a battle for me. Like I struggle, I struggle so it's hard. much. It's so hard because like my whole thing is like, I, um, I want all my heroes. And this goes back to the thing where it's like, I don't, I, I don't necessarily want to sound exactly like, uh, like Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin or like, mm-hmm. or like, uh, Ozzy Osbourne from Black Sabbath, but like, I want to sing high and then uh, oh, I'll, get to, I'll get in my head about like, oh, you can't hit this note right now. Like what's going on. And then, you know, all these things get messed up with, you know, and exercises, it's all, it's all whatever, but I have to like remind myself, I'm like, okay, dude, just like, you'll figure it out. It'll be okay. You'll hit, be able to hit those notes soon. We'll work on it. Yeah. But, like, don't right don't and you're not them so like don't expect yourself sure. to have their voice right now and they also I'm sure they worked so hard to get to where they were anyway like sure. I don't think anybody comes you know out of the womb singing the high notes yeah in, like old rock like I really don't think that's a thing like yeah. if it is I I mean kudos to them because wow but, that's but, yeah. <laughs> but that is not me like at all no I feel you but I, <clears throat> I I think like growing up I was I like com- like when my voice kind of shifted a little bit when I like was like 12, 13, I became more of an alto and like all my friends are sopranos. So I was always like, I can't sing high and I sound horrendous. And it's like <sighs> when I sing high and I can't do it. And so I finally like got a voice coach and I'm like, Hey, look, like you're an alto, just embrace it. Like you can get there at some point, but it's not going to be easy for you to sing high. Like your sister, yeah. like <laughs> it's just how right. it is. Yeah. Totally get it. I'm it's just that- so easy to compare. Like, again, and when it's your own unique boy, anyway, yeah, I feel you. The comparison's real. Um, so let's see. Um, oh, I wanted to touch on just um your work with the Coastal Cancer or Cancel Cancer Crew. Yeah. Um, and how that came up because that is just so sweet. Um, it's like a cause that's really close to my heart because my mom was actually diagnosed with cancer last year, and so just like walking through that is is such a uh, roller coaster. Um, and so I was like, oh, he's doing work with like cancer patients. Like, like, yeah, raise that awareness. Cause I think it's something we don't think about too much until it happens to us. And then, Oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't know. So, uh, I was looking at it and, and so it's more about like, uh, blood cancers, correct. And like, is it children with those or do you, like, tell me a little bit more about it and like yeah, how that so, started. So yeah. So the, Le- the leukemia and lymphoma society there, um, they're doing research on, uh, all the blood cancers to, you know, be able to provide support for, um, for, um, people who need treatment. And, mm-hmm. um, so how this came about was I was actually, I was at work. So I work, I work at a surf shop and, oh, um, I love that. and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a surf in California. You know what I mean? It's like the very stereotypical thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, the hair, the hair yeah, to California. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love it. I, I think too, like, sorry, side note. I think too, like people figure that actors work on a project and then they sit and do nothing until the next project. Like, yeah. thank you for like saying I have a job. Like I, oh I love that. Yeah. Like, I, I appreciate I know <laughs> like, what, see, break that I, stereotype. I, Oh my gosh, totally. I, I think there's a, there's a, the common misconception is like, oh, you get a job and you're like, you're set. It's like, no, like I, <laughs> I gotta they like, do so much money. You're fine for like six years. Yeah. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, no, I gotta go work. You know what I mean? But, um, so yeah, I was at, I was at work and, mm-hmm. uh, and so there was this, um, there's a, a, a girl, her name's Elise. She's, I think she's nine years old oh. and then her mom and they were in the, um, they were in the store. Um, and I didn't know, you know, I have like a mask on, I'm, my nails are painted, I'm wearing jewelry, uh, you know, hairs up. I don't look like Nick in the show. And so I was, um, I was just walking around, you know, folding stuff doing, checking people out, doing whatever. Um, doing your job, you know. and they do my job. Yeah. And so then they yeah. came up to me and they're like, uh, they asked me if like, they're like, Hey, are you, on, are you enjoying the films? I'm like, yeah, I'm Sasha. Like, what's your name? You know, your hair yeah, it's me. Introduce- <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's just like, uh, it's so nice to meet you guys. Oh my goodness. And so Elise's friend, mm-hmm. she goes to school with, her name is Claire. And Claire um, Claire is currently undergoing treatment um, uh, because she has, uh, I believe it's lymphoma. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, it's so and sad. So 
she she's in a relapse at the moment um and so um they got in touch with me uh they asked me they're really big fans of the show and um and they just asked me like hey we're doing this campaign we're trying to raise as much money as possible it's actually going on right now um and they asked me if they're like if i was willing to get involved um and you know it's like it's crazy because i have the this like platform now that i i never had before and it's like crazy the amount of reach that um yeah it's just it's it's unbelievable and that's it's really still, like, cool it's still really like weird for me like i Do you know it's, who i am it's a lot of people um because i'm I, you know I, ne- I never had that before and so it was with the show it kind of went from you know zero to 100 real quick oh yeah the uh, first week i'm sure because that first week everybody was like oh my god it was nuts love this and- show yeah, it, it was, it was really crazy. And so, um, so yeah, I, you know, and I've just been trying to use my, my platform for his, for things that are, I love it. Uh, just, just like, I, there's enough of selfies out there. You know what I mean? Like I think, and of course, you know, I still post, you know, I'm kind of a hypocrite. I still post like photos of myself and things to do, you know, with, with what my, you do. I mean, like it's not necessarily but, a hypocrite. I mean, <laughs> my, but a goal of mine is to like, is to try to use my reach for something that could benefit some something or someone else. Yeah. You know I mean? So um, I, love that. I was just like, heck yeah, I'm in. Uh, what are we doing? And like, how, how can I, how can I help? Um, and so, yeah, I've just been trying to do as much work on social media, um, getting as many people's attention as I, as, as I can. Um, and it's really cool. So we, um, what we're doing is we're auctioning off uh, an Ernie Ball guitar, and I got the cast of Julian the Phantoms to sign it. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna that's auction. Precious. We have a couple other items too, and so that's coming up. That's gonna be at the beginning of May. Um, and so yeah, it was just like an opportunity for for me to get involved and me to get the cast involved, and um, we did it. And I'm really excited for this guitar that's coming up. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun, and I think that. Um, yeah, you know, hopefully we can hopefully we can raise some more money. I'm 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 really excited. And Claire is such a sweetheart. So um I had the opportunity to meet Claire. We made we, you know, we made a little promo video yeah. for the campaign and stuff. Mm-hmm. And she's such a sweetheart. Um and oh my gosh, her family's great. My whole team is so awesome and so um so kind. And um and yeah, I was just I was really moved by her story. Um mm-hmm. and yeah, and yeah, so that's that's happening right now. And uh, I love that. Things are going good. Yeah. Is it so maybe you said this and I missed it. Uh, do the funds go to like help her with treatment or help like clients with treatment or is it like research? It's for research. Yeah. Research for it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So all the funds go to, uh, the leukemia and lymphoma society for their research. That's so good. And, um, it's, it's a, a, an unbelievable organization and it's really, there's a competition going on. So we have like, um, I'm, 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 not hundred percent sure if it's broken up in, into like divisions or sections. I'm pretty sure it is because we have mm-hmm. other in our County, we have other teams that we're competing against. So it's like, whoever can raise the most money. Um, Get a little extra incentive in there for sure. Well, yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually, I don't know what happens if, if you know, you win, but it's like a, uh, but it's really fun because it, it's like, it's a great thing being able to compete against other kids in your area for a really great cause. And um it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm really stoked. Love that. Love it. yeah. That's so cool. That's really cool. I'm glad that you're involved in that. I love to see people who have a platform use it for something other than themselves. I think that's so cool. And just to like even raise awareness. Cause like, we don't think about those types of cancers all, every day, especially children having them. And so um, you have the audience and you're spreading the word and I love it. That's so amazing. Much. Yeah. Don't, don't change. Like that's a really good goal. I, I love that. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. <laughs> like, do I want to, I don't want to take up too much of your time here. Oh, I'm doing, um, doing, I'm, I don't even worry about it. I'm lit, I have like no plans for today. You're, you're just chilling. Cool. I'm just chilling. Just chilling. Yeah. Me too. I'm just like, Hey, um, so I guess like I, for, I was going to touch on this and then I totally spaced it, but like you mentioned that Julian, the Phantoms was your first big project. Hmm. So it was like being an actor, always something you wanted to do, or is it just like, Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, I like this thing or like, or is it more music? Cause I know you do both. Like I, 
it was all a, it was all kind of a ripple effect and it started with um so my background's actually dance uh, i started dancing when i was five and i danced because my older sister did. um and I, I you know i've never played sports like i'm never oh, five-year-old dancers sorry it's just like uh, my brain's like oh cute little five-year-old yeah. dancers <laughs> videos i need to i need to post some videos of it's 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 pretty oh yes do it um, do it <laughs> so, so here for it yeah so like I started dancing when I was around five and then uh that was like I, I was really into dancing and once I found performing through dance I was like oh my gosh like this is seriously like what I want to do like and, and I've known mm-hmm. this since I was a little a little kid and um performing has just been like one of the biggest things that's been a part of my life and seriously like my biggest passion and wh- whatever that is like whether it's dance or whether it's um music which I kind of picked up later whether it's acting like just being on stage and, and and creating uh creating telling a story or 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 uh, port- uh it's like exerting a an emotion or a feeling yeah yeah is really it's a very powerful thing and and, and I've been in the audience of many incredible shows and I've been so yeah. moved by so many different people and so much, so much different music. And, um, and I want to do that for other people. And I, I want to inspire. Um, it's hard. It's, it's hard. It's kind of hard to put into words, but it's just, it's, yeah. it's just this feeling. Um, yeah, I feel you. But- I love, I love live performance. I love like theater. I love concerts. I love um, it's just, it's like, there's something about being there that mm-hmm. is like, different than anything else and then like being on like a stage because like I said I sing a little bit so like that's like a whole nother level of just like for sure my gosh this is so fun like I I just get to I think for both people it really takes you out of your world yeah it's a whole it's a whole thing like I don't know how to explain it like because I'll go on about like concert culture and like how much I like over 2020, I'm like, I miss concert culture. And people are like, what? And I'm like, it's a thing. Like if you go to concerts, you understand, like, especially if you go to like a small, like little venue concert. Oh my God. Anyway, that's just, oh, yeah. oh my gosh. It's amazing. COVID. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. I'm like, oh, I'm like, where hey, I need a concert now. <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're taking steps. We're going to get there soon. I really uh, hope so. I'm hoping. <laughs> like, yeah. So like, so dance, uh, dance led me to, uh, it's funny. I've always loved music, but one of the reasons why I started dancing too, is because I love music and, you know, music yeah. makes you feel a certain way, you know, when you're listening to like some Michael Jackson, like, Oh my gosh, through the biggest Michael Jackson phase. I was just like, ah, baby, gee. you know, like I, it, <laughs> it just makes you, feel, makes you feel so good. And, um, and so that led me to actually like, uh, dabbling in music, taking piano lessons when I was like eight or nine. Um, and then that led me into going into theater and uh, mm. musical theater. And so it was, it was, it was cool because like I, all of a sudden, like I sort of was combining my love for um, like my interest in, in music at that time wasn't super deep. Like I, I didn't really, I was too much of a spaz to sit down and learn to play the piano and like read music. Um and so, but, it, it, but I also, I still like, I, you know, I love to sing and stuff. And so I combined my love for singing and dancing. And then I was like, you know what, let's just give theater a try. I love being on stage. I feel comfortable. Let's just see what happens. Um, yeah. And so, uh, and then I okay. fell in love with theater. And so mm-hmm. I spent from like nine to 10, I, um, those two years, I, I did a couple of productions. My love for it just slowly grew and grew. And then, um, I wanted to take it to, um, I love movies. I've always loved film. And when I sort of found acting, I was like, I, I really want to do, I really yeah. want to do this and I want to give it a shot. And so when I was, when I was 10, I, I signed with an agency, um, in LA. Um, and then when I was, yeah, 10, 10 turning 11, that's when I started going to, um, auditions for like film and TV, uh, TV, um, series and, and, and stuff like that. And, uh, since then I've just been, uh, I've just been obsessed and I've been on this, like, uh, I love it so much. And it's weird mm-hmm. because like yeah. people, people, uh, and I know this is like, this is what I want to do. Um, and it's funny because like, when you have like a 13 year old kid and they're like, I want to, I want to be like an actor. I want to be like a like earth, you know, you know? <laughs> yeah, people, well, people are so yeah. a lot of the time, like, we're, like, they're like, Oh yeah. Okay. 
yeah, sure. Like, and I'm like, no, this is what I love. Like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. And um, so, I, yeah, I've just been committed ever since, ever since I started, which was, oh my gosh, now that's like six years ago, a little over six years ago. That's scary. Um, and I love it so much. And my love for it has just continued to grow. Um, and yeah, you know, Julian, the Phantoms was seriously a dream come true for me. Like I, I'd work so hard for it, you know what yeah. I mean? The yeah. industry is also like, it's a really hard industry. Um, oh, I, you know, I, I, yeah. I mean, I went, I went like two years without like, getting a job. Yeah. Like, you know, it, and that's just a part of it. You're going to get told no a lot more than yes. So um, you have to have a, like a strong self-confidence, I bet to be like, head. okay, this doesn't define me. <laughs> rejection, rejection and I are buds. Like we're <laughs> tight. I can um, imagine. I, I, I feel that, but not to uh, that level. But oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. And I, and then, and you know, then music, music came in uh, into the picture. Well, I picked up the guitar when I was 12 years old or mm-hmm. I was 11 turning 12. I had a class at school actually in fifth grade that I, we played like, you know, hot cross buns or, or smoke on the water or whatever. Yeah. 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 And you know, was, there's yeah, probably smoke on the water. Cause that's what everybody plays. Every single person knows how to play this. <laughs> exactly. I know that's like, that's like the, that's like the beginner. That's like where you start, you know what I mean? And yep. so uh, in fifth grade, yeah, I, I like, I was at school and my buddy actually had an electric guitar and I was like, Oh my gosh, what is that? Like, I, I don't know really how to play. I don't know what that thing uh, you know, I don't really like Yeah, literally, literally, I was just like, I, I, oh my <laughs> imagine God. working at a guitar store. Um, oh my gosh, you may be like, oh. <laughs> like not this long again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then That's and cool. when I was when I was 12, like I I I actually started taking lessons, and that's when I really sort of dove into it. And then yeah, you know, and then you know, I don't know, it's just, five or six years later, you know, here I am. So I, um, really cool. and my obsession is the same thing with, with acting. My obsession is just slowly, it's just growing and growing more. And both, I love so much people, people have asked me like, oh, if you had to choose between one and two, I can't, I'm sorry. I like, I, I just, I love both so much and they're both just such a big part of me. But, um, yeah, you know, in the past year for me, um, music has been like really, uh, taken over, you know, uh, just because of the COVID, like the, cause the acting industry, like totally went kaput last year. Like, Oh yeah. Because people being in person's like, <laughs> Oh yeah. It's, it was, it was rough. So, but I'm stoked this year, like, um, the industry slowly moving again. So, uh, that, that gives me hope, but yeah, that was a very, that was kind of in depth. I'm sorry about that. No, but. that's fine. Cause, um, I don't know. Like I, I was thinking about starting to ask people, my sister came up with this question. And I thought it was really good. And just like asking people like what their lifelong dream is. And I feel like you touched on that. Like, yeah, like how, um, Julian, the Phantoms was like a dream come true for you. Cause you're like, Oh my gosh, like I can do this. Yeah. Well, it's like, I mean, and, and also yeah. like, it's, you know, Kenny, Kenny is like any, I was like, what? Like Kenny or take it. Like what? Like, this is crazy. Like in- and, and, um, Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just the, just the whole, like, sorry, I had a, my phone just dinged. Um, no, you're fine. <laughs> Part of life. Yeah. It's a uh, man. I'm, I'm just so stoked. Julian. Oh, I just love Julian. Finn. Did you expect so it stoked. to get that big? Like when you were doing um, it, did you think, Oh, this is going to blow up or did you think, I mean, this will have some people watch it or like, well, I knew, I knew that it was something special because of just kind of the energy that we, um, we had on set, you know what I mean? If yeah. someone's like, like you can tell also it's Kenny, like Kenny is in like, he is incredible. Like I, and you know, anything he touches is gold basically. That's <laughs> what I said. Like he's a legend oh and gosh, like his, just like being on set and watching him do his thing is mm-hmm. absolutely incredible and being in his element. And, uh, there's just magic with Kenny that you, it's, it's like indescribable. He, um, oh my gosh, he's just so inspiring and so passionate about what he does. And it, that makes everyone around him just go up, you know, it brings yeah. the energy and everything around him is just, up turned the, the knobs turned up to 10 you know what I mean and it's you want so to try cool. that much harder I'm sure too because like you totally. you know yeah oh my gosh I mean I would have tried hard no matter what who I would be working with you know but, what I mean 
but like with Kenny, it's just like, you kind of just go there anyway, because that's what, what, where he's at, you know what I mean? Yes, Uh, absolutely. And so, uh, but yeah, you know, it's, you never, I mean, no one ever knows, you know what I mean? I think with a project, like, um, so it's definitely been like a, I'm so happy that so many people have been touched by the story and have been moved and, or, or have been inspired, you know, whether that is to pick up the guitar, whether it is to play, um, play music or sing or, or just to become, become themselves yeah. uh, through our show. Because I, I mean, that's what it did for me. Like I, mm. it's funny, I actually was talking to Kenny. I, I saw Charlie um, when I went to visit him last week or a week and a half ago. I can't, I don't even know anymore. It's like, it is, it's all a haze. Um, I, we went last two years have been a real haze, you know, oh last God. year and a half. <laughs> Gosh. Um, but yeah, so Charlie and I, we went to, uh, we went to see Kenny and stuff. And, uh, you know, I was just talking to him about this. I was like, you know, Julian, the Phantoms, I, and I realized this like a, a little bit ago, I was like, wow, like Julian, the Phantoms really helped me become, um, who I am. You know what I mean? Like I came home and I started being like, you know what? Yeah, I will. Oh, I, so I want to pay, I want to pay my nails. Like I'm going to do it. I'm going to start wearing jewelry because it's what I want to do. I'm going to start too bad if people don't like it. (laughs) I was going to say, I love your nails, by the way. I've been just admiring them this entire time. I'm just like, I find a a part, a time to just be like, your nails are just, we love I did them yesterday in my Spanish class. Um, You know, as one does, you know, Spanish class, you know, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) they're great. Um, But yeah, it was like, it, it gave me this, um, I don't know. I think all, everyone can kind of see a part of themselves in Julie and her story. And oh, yeah. it's just beautiful where she comes from at the beginning as this sheltered girl who's been through it. You know what I mean? And then just she yeah, just kind so. of grows into the person that she's meant to be. So I uh, um, there are definitely parts of the story that I I really connected with. And uh, yeah, it's 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 weird. It's like it's it's helped me a lot, you know, and I like you're in it, but you were inspired by it too, which I think is really oh my cool. God. Like, yeah, like I'll wear bell, but I'll, I'll like, it's funny. I'll, I wear bell bottoms, to like a surf. I work at a surf shop and I'll wear bell bottoms. <laughs> too. And, and you better I believe- love it. Bring them back. Why have they not come oh back gosh. yet? Hell they need yeah. to come back. They, they do need, need to come back. back. It's so funny. People would walk in and be like, what? Like you work here like what is going on dude and I'm like yeah I work here like let me help you fold a t-shirt or something I don't know um but but yeah I I love it I'm like look at this just fashion just 10 out of 10 (laughs) thank you I'm hey you know what a lot of it's my mom my mom I wear all of her old jewelry um I love her clothes like it's, it's funny um it's funny. Yeah. My, my mom's the best. She's very encouraging of, of me wearing, you know, all these wild, she'll like, she'll like see something and be like, uh, send me a photo. If she's like in a store somewhere and be like, like, you need this, right? You need this. And I'm just like, I, yes, I do need that. Um, but yeah, she, she's pretty cool. I love it. I feel you. I'll see when I go shopping, I'm like, well, this is something no one else would ever have. So that means I have to have it because I have to be different. (laughs) exactly and then I'm like why don't I look like everyone else and then I'm like oh yeah you're right like we don't we don't want to look like everybody else <laughs> yeah exactly. yep yep I love it all right I will finish up with one one last thing you said you like to surf um what is I guess when you're not making music or acting which are two things you love to do anyway what do you do for fun like what are your hobbies what do you like to do um, yeah um I love I love um surfing is like my favorite, uh, one of my favorite things to do ever. There's, there's this feeling that where with surfing that you just can't get anywhere else. Um, like you just can't, it's like really the concert weird. thing. It's kind of like the concert thing. Like but it's, it's, it's yeah. funny. I have, I have, I feel like I have a, a, a lot of different things that give me different feelings that, but they're all very great in their own different several way. Surfing, surfing is awesome. It just, it, one, it's, it really connects you with nature as hippie mm-hmm. dippy sounds, but I am hippie dippy. So those are the things that I say. Oh no, um, I feel that too. No, you're fine. Yeah. You're so fine. I, I'm like, yeah, I have a little bit of a hippie. Don't mind me. And, <laughs> uh, I love surfing. I, 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 my, nature, my dad, makes complete sense. Nature, right. One with nature. Um, but you know, my dad was in, uh, 
uh, the surf industry for a long time. He, uh, you know, worked in a surf shop for like 25 years, you know, ran, ran, ran a surf shop in, in my hometown and stuff. So I kind of uh-huh. grew up, um, just being around surfing anyway, even before I started. And then, um, and then, yeah, you know, when I was like, I think I was eight or nine, I started, uh, started surfing. And, um, you know, ever since then, uh, I've just been, I've just been hooked on it. I love it so much. Um, it's just, yes, it's one of those things. I think I'm, I went last night. I think I'm going to go again tonight. Uh, yeah. but all my buddies surf, you know what I mean? Like it, it's so much fun. And, and also the ocean is just like such a, it, it's such a humble, a humbling thing. Like, yeah, you're like, like I'm just kind of here in this massive, I'm just kind of here, you know, oh gosh, totally. little, little thing. Right you'll here. be sitting, yeah. You'll be sitting in the water and you're like, wow, like this, this is great. Like, this is a powerful beast. I, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm tiny compared to, you know, exactly, exactly what you said. So I think it puts it into, yeah. into perspective a lot, but it's also, it's just such a rewarding um, thing. I also just love, what else do I like to do? I don't know. I, it, I jump around from a lot surfing. of surfing. He's making music or surfing. Playing, playing guitar. I play guitar <laughs> nonstop. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, just, just hanging out with friends, you know, going on, yeah. going on little hikes talking I love I just love meeting people and talking to people like um I love watching movies I love I love a lot of things I really love uh, I I like you know life's 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 good you know what I mean and so it's good that's a good perspective just to be like you like your life and I love that that's for sure. you just tell you just love everything and yeah, yeah. Like, I, uh, live it to the fullest do do what you want to do meet people you have. I feel that meet people, meet people's massive. I think like get new perspectives, talk to people, hear their stories. I, I, I like just talking to people in general is like, and you know, it's one of the great things about working at a surf shop too, because you meet so many random yeah. people. Um, yeah. And you just surfers talk. aren't all cookie cutter people. Oh my gosh. Meet all all kinds of different people. <laughs> totally. Oh my goodness. And, and you'll meet some of the most care, like the, just the biggest characters ever, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, I love it. And that's the, you know, that's the really cool thing about the surf surfing community too, is like, no one cares, you know what I mean? So it doesn't, you know, you can be, you, you know, be whoever you want to be, you know what I mean? And, and, uh, it always goes back to the love that everyone has of going out and, and catching waves and having a good time. So, uh, it's a very, it's a very great thing, but that's really yeah. cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, I totally get the one with nature. So I'm like, don't even, I, I'm like that. I'm like, I, I live where there's mountains actually. So I'm not even close oh, yeah. to I didn't ask you, where, ocean. Are you, where are you coming from today? Where are you, where I live in, you? I live in Utah actually. Wow. So Wait. yeah. So no ocean. Um, but that's how I feel about like, cause I grew up with mountains. I just have always grown up here. My parents grew up in California, so I've been there a lot, but I live. Yeah. So I live where there's just these massive mountains and I can't live without it. Like I love driving in them I love you know hiking in them like because it's just there's just such a the one with nature like it does sound corny but like it's so true true. there's just like this peace that comes when you just sit there and um like the national parks down south like just being able to like oh like I I have not been to Utah but oh my gosh I can't yo you have to come it's amazing um they're so one of them that's kind of underrated I think is like Canyonlands and I remember Mm -hmm. this was like kind of like my feeling of like where you're talking about being in the middle of the ocean being like oh my gosh like the perspective yeah. um I went we went on this hike in Canyonlands and it ended at this like cliff and there was like this valley mm-hmm. and it was red rock and like there was like some purple hues and like some brown hues and I think there was like a little bit of a river running through it and I just sat there for like 10 minutes or whatever while my family went exploring wherever they were and I was just like like it was just like it was like wow I'm just here yeah but like it was the most at peace I have ever felt in my entire life like I could have just stayed there just part of the dirt forever you know That's so cool. there's something so cool about whatever nature you have in your backyard this to whoever's listening to this um whatever nature you have in your backyard go go be part of it it's a very special feeling so amen to that, amen <laughs> to that. oh my god That's yeah. so cool yeah so is it still snowing where you are is it still mm-hmm. is it? <laughs> I'm so I'm so mad about it yes so so do you board or ski I do I ski a little bit not a lot but I'll go once or twice a year maybe 
Um, I hadn't been in a couple of years. I went this year and there, so there wasn't really any snow in like January and February. So the snow was terrible when I went skiing. And then, and then I was like, okay, it'll, here's what happens like here. It'll be a fake spring and then it'll snow and then it'll be another fake spring and then it'll snow. So it was uh, usually what happens is it's nice through like the end of March. And then in April we'll get one snowstorm and then it'll be fine. And then it'll get to be like hundred degrees. And um, (laughs) this year it just, every like, other week it was like windy and stormy like so it wasn't like snowing snowing it was like the other day I was sitting at my desk and I looked out the window and there was just snow like flying in a circle like a snow globe like just the wind and I was like I was so I was like mad I was like I'm done this is April 20 something yeah (laughs) it's time for it to be I'm done it's April 24th already (laughs) already April 24th that is scary it's it's very scary it's going very quickly but yeah anyway there you go I'm like can it be warm and then I'll just say that and it'll be 95 tomorrow and I'll be like no I meant like 70 then like 80 then no that's not how Utah works so anyway um I'll let you go this was really fun thanks for chatting with me I had a good time hearing more about this is this is seriously a pleasure yeah it was so fun so I appreciate it um I hope you have a great day as well go surfing tonight yes (laughs) It's the best. Go on, go on a hike tonight if you can. If you don't, there's one of my friends is like, we need to go on a walk today, and I was like, <laughs> do okay. it, do it. We'll <laughs> I need to go that. walk somewhere pretty. Yeah, awesome, wow. awesome. All right, well, I will. Um, yeah, let you go, yeah. and you have a great day. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so nice to meet you. You too. Sydney, take care. Have a great yeah, one. You too. All right. Bye. Right on. Take care. Bye. Bye.